The biggest thing you need is patience. Okay, hello. I am just back from a job interview, which is why I'm wearing a polo. <laughs> I'm, well, actually, I'm just dressing up for you guys. Um, <laughs> but, so, I'm going to show you my recipe for basically the lowest calorie um, protein pancakes that anyone can make. I mean, you could just use egg whites, but I'm making it taste kind of good. So the trick to this is you need a blend, a blend protein, so something like casein or whey blend. But if you don't have that, don't worry, you can do half casein, half whey. And the reason for that is because casein mixes up really thick and you want the thickness. Otherwise, if you just mix it with whey, so whey protein, it's just going to be a gloppy, like a kind of liquidy mess. So that's not, it's not going to work. And so the ingredients I will have up on the screen, but basically what you need is number one, baking powder or baking soda, wh whatever you call it, five grams or so, just a little bit. Um, you need three egg whites, for three eggs, for, um, you get the egg whites out, and 15 grams of whey protein and 15 grams of casein protein, or 30 grams, right, of a blend if you have that. So literally that's all you need. So a hundred and something calories and it would help if you had a tiny pancake slash egg making pan like this. I love this pan. It's just proper brilliant. You know, perfect size pancakes. And also the biggest thing you need is patience because to cook them well you need low heat and lots and lots of patience. But, I will show you now. I'm gonna gather my ingredients. So, I'm gonna put this in the pan just so it can kind of get warm. On the pan, uh, quite low heat. This goes up to six, I'm making it a two. I'll turn it up to probably three or four minutes, but that's it. Um, very low heat. Right, so, first thing you need, a bowl or whatever to mix your shit in. Yep, bowl. I'm going to do this as expertly as I can. So, three eggs. One, two. Fifteen grams of each. So both of them together make twenty nine thirty grams. Okay, so pro tip, if you put too much water, like what I just did, um, not very professional of me, I know, <laughs> but I tend to eyeball it. So yeah, if I, I accidentally just tipped too much water. So if you do that, what you do is add a bit more casein because casein will actually make it thicker. So you just add a little bit, like try 
if I were to put it into, so you eyeball it, but like if I were to put it into grams, maybe like two to five grams, just a little tiny bit, um, and you should get a decent consistency as you will see in a second. So that's what you're looking for. Then for cooking, um, then for cooking, the last step is this. Um, so I'm using a bit of butter spray. It just tastes like butter. It's nicer. So you spray it in here. I've already heated up the uh, pan. So let's try this with one pan. And there you go, you can turn it up a little bit, so I'm turning up one just because I don't know if it's hot enough. But yeah, and it shall cook. So it's about done, I'm gonna attempt this with one hand, watch this, alright? Boom! And there you have it. Um, it doesn't look like the best thing in the world, obviously, because considering how low the calories are, and if you compare it to normal pancakes, they taste, they taste really good. The thing is, right, it tastes better than it looks, but trust me, so try this on your own, and voila. You can top it with blueberries, um, whatever, sugar-free syrup, whatever the hell you want. Hope this recipe video helped, uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch me make some pancakes.